Hi, welcome to DIY RV and Home Camper's Life. My name's Greg. Now, since we've gone full time in our RV, uh, data cellular service is kind of a must for us. And uh, some of the places that we go to, uh, it's distant, so uh, the service is lacking. We added a WeBoost Drive X RV um, booster in our trailer. As you can see, it's right here. Got it hooked up and running. Now, for the most part, it has done a good job um, increasing and helping us out with our signal. Um, currently, we are wintering in Quartzsite, Arizona, out at La Posa South uh, long-term visitor area. And uh, unfortunately, out here, the cellular service is not that great. We are on T-Mobile. Uh, the tower is uh, in town, and it's just outside of the optimal range of the omnidirectional antenna that we've got on the roof for the drive X so what we did yesterday is actually went into town and uh, I was able to contact uh, we boost directly Wilson electronics and find out which antenna would be best as in a directional antenna for our equipment along with any necessary uh, accessories cables adapters uh, they emailed me back. I went into town. Luckily, I was able to source one um, from a local. Uh, we installed it. I'll get up and I'll show you what I did there. But just to show you what we've got. We've got the Wii Boost right here. We've got it. Uh, the wire coming from the antenna coming in from behind the refrigerator. And then this one, which is the one going to uh, the um, in interior antenna, comes up. goes over the ceiling. And it comes down and we've got it set up over here right now um, possibly in the future i might move it around bring it down a little bit closer to the desk uh, see if that'll help out with a little bit of the interior connectivity uh, but um, we've seen an improvement in just putting that antenna on so now let's run outside let's take a look and i'll show you what i did temporarily as a test and then uh, when we come back with a permanent solution on mounting the antenna I'll bring you back on that too so meet you outside all right we're taking a look at uh, the antenna set up right now uh, as you can see I've got the omnidirectional mounted up on the trailer and I've got a link to a video right here on how I mounted that antenna I just used that as the mast yesterday to attach the antenna just to see if this was gonna work for us so let's go up top and take a look now like I explained this is a temporary mount of the antenna uh, testing to see if this was going to work for us uh, what i'm planning on doing is getting one that's going to extend up even higher than uh, what we have right now but as you can see i've got it attached to our we boost omnidirectional antenna i used a application to locate the direction of the cell tower and then i used the compass to point this now this one right here is the model 314411. We also picked up a, a coaxial cable that had the proper end to attach to the antenna along with proper end to attach to our cable going inside the trailer. We did have to get an adapter for it right here. And in the description below, I'll have a link to all of these uh, pieces. Um, this is actually a 20 foot cable um, so that we can actually run it up and down um, or locate it uh, where we want to or need to. Uh, so this is really just a quick video to show you which uh, antenna, cable, uh, and adapter you can use to uh, install a directional antenna on your WeBoost DriveX RV to get better reception. So anyways, uh, if you guys are having connectivity problems and you wanna try to put a directional on your WeBoost DriveX, uh, here is the uh, antenna that uh, Wilson uh, recommended along with the cabling. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe and share until next time. From Quartzsite, Arizona, La Posa South, happy camping.